important reminder. All information and ideas are for informational purposes only and are in no way intended as medical advice or as a substitute for medical counseling. Earthshift Products, Dr. Robert Kassar, all of their partners, affiliates, and subsidiaries will not be held accountable for the use or misuse of the information presented therein. This information is not intended as medical advice. The authors, publishers, and speakers of this work are not medical doctors and do not recommend the use of mineral deficient foods, drugs, or medicines to achieve beauty and to alleviate health challenges. Because there is always some risk involved, all persons involved with the development and distribution of this information are not responsible for any adverse effects or consequences of any kind resulting from the use or misuse of any suggestions or procedures described on our website or Earthshift Live radio talk show or therein. Okay. Yeah, the first part, what we want to do is we want to do a little question and answer just to sort of break the ice on some ideas. Sometimes a lot of people have a lot of confusion, questions, um, just different things sometimes that we can't ever get in the, the back of the lecture. We never really get a chance to talk about questions and answers because there's so much to talk about. And I talk all over the place a little bit because there's so much to talk about. So um, I have a lot of different lectures on different areas. We're not going to really go over. We're going to touch a couple different areas. But um, I usually talk a lot about what's very important, which is the cosmos. Because that's a big change now happening. As you can see, all the volcanoes, all the hurricanes, all the earthquakes, all the earth changes. They're real. Manipulated by man or manipulated by the cosmos, it doesn't matter. They're really here. Okay? Every time the earth changes its tune, we change with it, either up or down. Do we know last time we had the Chilean earthquake, an 8.8 .8 earthquake? Do you know what happened? They say that time sped up. Did you hear that? Yeah. Okay. Usually, like I said, I have someone that helps me go and I said, hey, find that on the internet real fast. Okay, so I may, uh, we, we don't have anything to plug in with the internet right now, do we? Is it too far out of the? Is yours pretty fast? Yeah? Or is your cable pretty uh, short? It's about 10 feet we need. Yeah, I was going to just put that in my back pocket. Well, the, can you hear? No? Yeah. The Chilean earthquake, remember, was an 8.8 .8 earthquake, maybe even more, because a lot of times you never get a chance to hear the real truth. You only get a chance to hear what they want to tell you. Like the Northridge earthquake, remember, was a 6.8, but it was much bigger than that. Um, the Chilean earthquake changed the angle of the planet. Did you know that? The Earth is 23.5 degrees. And I put my hands like this because your heart is at the same. It's not straight. It's at 23.5 degrees. Do you know how many people left the planet over the last four, five, six months with heart problems? We are a species that shape shifts. Okay? We're part reptilian, no matter if you like it or not. You're part mammalian. Okay? You're part amphibian. You did breathe in mama's womb. Okay? You're part uh, bird brain, navigational, magnetic. A lot of us have lost our navigational skills, but you notice how the birds, they do fly south and north and they don't have a map. So we, as a species right now, have multiple brains. We just didn't know that. So once you really find out that you have a job to do, and I was talking about, uh, let's see, where's Roy? There he is. Roy and I had a nice conversation on, on the way here. And, you know, I like to explain parts of this, and we have a good part of the PowerPoint that we have here, but I'm not going to go into it too deep because I have other lectures that actually cover this. But we have multiple brains, and we've heard right now that we're changing from a constellation. Does everybody know what the constellation we're leaving is? The Piscean constellation? You know how long the constellation lasts? Remember you've heard of this thing called 2012? Remember, 2,000 years ago, somebody on this planet had the power to press a button, didn't they? To be able to say, we're going to start over. Reset, zero, 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 zero. Isn't that so? Okay, remember, that's a, it's a big system here. We're just sort of start, starting to realize a lot of uh, I, what I call the galaxy game. We're waking up to the fact that it's not just um, 
a little game. It's a big game, very big. And some, has anybody ever heard of Eckhart Tolle? Okay. Everybody? Okay. I like to use a lot of different uh, parables and uh, things that are symbolic to a lot of things that are happening now. You ever heard of the evolve or die? That's one of his famous quotes right now. Remember, the ones that left the planet, their heart couldn't evolve because we changed to about 21 degrees. The Earth now is spinning faster. You can look it up on the Internet. Remember, the Internet does tell you a lot of truth, tells you a lot of lies, tells you a lot of secrets, and it tells you a lot of deceptions. And it's up to us as a group to be able to actually solve a lot of these riddles because, as you notice, that the big players right now are, are not really doing it for you or for us. Now, if the cosmos are changing, that means that all of the planets and everything that the sun changes to has to change with. Wouldn't you sort of think that that would be common sense? Remember, the sun is in power. It's the star of our solar system. It's actually like on the front of a big movie. It's the one, it's the star. The sun goes through its solar maximum. Does anybody know? Anybody heard of that solar cycle 24? Okay, I'm going to show you a lot of things uh, just for you to be able, don't believe me. Remember how you spell believe? B-L-I-E. Okay, it's got a lie in it, so don't believe me. We need to do our homework. I'm here to stimulate you. If you actually feel that this is information you want to look further, then stimulate yourself and find out more about what's going on and see if you can add to what we only know maybe is a small little sliver of the truth. Now, the Chilean earthquake was, like I said, of 8.8 .8 close to 9. It changed the angle of the planet to about 21 degrees. And if you look up, you'll see the Earth actually is faster. It's just very, very minutely faster, but it is. It's a gyroscope, isn't it? Okay? It's out of balance right now because if it was actually in balance, it would be zero degrees spinning and you'd have a virtual Garden of Eden on the planet. You wouldn't have spring, summer, winter, or fall. You'd have a perfect equanim it's called equanimity uh, or this, this very north and south energy that's actually meeting as one, not one uh, overriding the other, like when you get winter. You get winter for a reason. You get spring for a reason. Okay? It's called the precision. Okay, or the procession. Now, we're only really trying to show that there's lots of, of movement for us to go forward to right now. And the cosmos is something really big you have to learn because if not, it's all just a bunch of talk. You really don't know what's going on. What you really find out is that there's a lot of, of uh, confusion. And that's what I want to talk about, some of the questions and answers. What are you confused about? You know, first thing before we get started, we've got some chocolate that I made here. And this chocolate wakes you up. Not just wakes you up physiologically, but it wakes you up up here. Anybody ever heard of, you've got a gland in your brain called the pineal gland? The largest statue in front of the, the Vatican is, is what? It's a pine cone. Well, you guys are good. Okay. And what's the pine cone simulate? Remember, it's an interdimensional activation device. So when you sort of say, why do they put fluoride in my water? Fluoride in my food? What's that? That's okay. She's my mama right now. I am. Mama Lisa, I gotta make the video right. So when you have the Fluoride, where does fluoride go? Look it up and see. Remember, calcium fluoride is normal in nature. It's natural. It actually aids your bones and aids yourself to be actually very structurally strong. Sodium fluoride accumulates in your tissues. But where does it accumulate mostly? It accumulates in the glands. Okay? Now, we know that mercury fillings or amalgam fillings. This is sort of like a weird thing. I'm not going to point fingers at anybody. We just know that it's actually happened. It's not happening. It's happened. How many people have been penetrated by the dentist here? I have too. I had 14 mercury fillings. Okay, and then I had them all replaced. And I replaced them with crystal. Um, 
how many people have not been penetrated by the dentist here? Okay, you notice how they're really good? Zero. For anybody that's watching this, there's not a person that didn't raise their hand that said they have not been penetrated. Now, did you change some of your fillings to uh, another material? What material did you use? Uh, I'm not sure. It's all white. It's a white composite. Yeah. So the composites are either made out of plastic yeah. or they're made out of porcelain. Okay, and so if you had porcelain, what is porcelain made out of? Let's skip back. Remember, we keep going back and we keep going to answer this question over and over again. Who runs the show here? And so we're going to keep asking that question. We're going to talk a little bit about the smallest of particles because this makes a big difference. We're going to go down as far as we can to the smallest of smallest. And remember, we have to sort of just think about this because we can only see with our eyes. It's called macro. And once we get on a microscope, then you can see things that your eyes can't see. And then you get down even further. It goes to micro. It goes to nan, okay, nano size. And then it even goes even smaller and smaller. And those are just sort of like ideas, but they're real. Electron size, smaller. And then we get going the other way. We go macro, from micro to macro, all the way out to the galaxy. We know the galaxy's huge. There's billions of other galaxies, isn't there? You've heard of that? Billions. So our Milky Way galaxy has about how many stars in it? It has 100 trillion stars. Our cells in our body, because we're going to get back to this. Remember, the heart is 23.5 degrees. We have 100 trillion cells in our body, 100 trillion. OK, so if that's the case, you'll say, how do you know there's 100 trillion? How many chromosomes do you have? 46, right? You have 23 from mom, 23 from dad. And if you actually get a calculator out and you go 23, actually 46 in binary sequence, you'll go 0, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512. And you do that 46 times, and you get a magic number of 100 trillion. That's how many cells you have. It's a multiplication in binary sequence. And remember, everything in nature fits within these parameters of what's called a system of 10 power. So our skin temperature is 98.6. This is important just to go over holographic physics just for a sec, just to sort of set the stage. 98.6, right? Skin temperature, we've heard of that. So if we go to the sun, because the sun, we're in power of our own self, and the surface skin of our body is 98.6. So let's go macro now. So if we go all the way to macro, what is the surface temperature of the sun? It's power 10, 9,860 degrees. You can look it up. And if you actually play around with any plasma devices, you'll see what they're doing. 9,860 degrees breaks everything down to from which it came. 